Number 97, suppose you have a supply of inductors ranging from one nanohenry to 10 henry and capacitors ranging from one picofarad to 0.1 farad. What is the range of resonant frequencies that can be achieved from combinations of single inductor and single capacitor? So resonant frequency formula, that's what we're gonna need. And the resonant frequency basically here is a function of the uh, square root, all right, of the inductance multiplied by the capacitance. So now just think about this for two seconds. The max frequency, the max frequency would work out to be when this term in the denominator is at a minimum, right? When this term, because that's the term that can change. Obviously, we're not changing the value of two or pi. So um, when this is, I, I, I wrote max, I don't know why. I said min, I think. So the this fraction overall will work out to be the largest fraction when this result in the denominator is at a minimum. In other words, the resonant maximum res resonant frequency results from the lowest combination of these two when they're multiplied together. So basically what I'm gonna do is, then that means that each of these two terms on in there should be a minimum, right? They should both be a minimum, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically now going to um, plug in now. So FO max one over two pi, take the lowest uh, inductance, and that's the one nano Henry, so one times 10 to the minus ninth, because we need it in Henry, and then take the lowest Farad, so that's one times 10 to the minus 12th. All right, and plug it on in. And this will correlate to the max, okay? So there's then one divided by now, parenthesis two pi, times n square root of one times 10 to the minus ninth times one times 10 to the minus 12th, and we get a value here of about 5.03 times, I didn't convert to scientific what? So this is three, six, I guess nine, right? So about five billion uh, hertz. And there you go, so that's the max. And then what do you think, how do you think the minimum is gonna turn out, the frequency min? The frequency now, the resonant frequency min will occur when this is at a max. So now you just take the maximum values. Isn't that nice and simple? Right, it's really not that bad. So the max inductance is 10. The max uh, capacitance is 0.1. They're already in the right unit, so that's why I didn't have to do any conversions. And let's see what we get. One divided by now, parenthesis. Um, well, it's really just, well, yeah, 10 times 0.1 is one, square root of one is one. So it's really just one divided by uh, uh, two pi. But you know what? I'm gonna plug everything in because it's kind of a little late and um, yeah, it's only it's only nine thirty, but for me now that is that is late, uh, like nine thirty, nine thirty p.m. I'm just waking up. Yep, I remember. So this is going to be one point five nine times ten to the uh, minus one, and that's then in hertz. All right. So that's then obviously you see how that worked out to minimum. So that's the range. If you had to subtract it to, I don't know, maybe that was what they want, but that's the minimum and the max guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing. If you're able to and liking the videos, it really helps the algo, the algorithm. All right. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate it. All right. Hopefully these are helping be well.